With me today is the second fastest car in Toyota's lineup right behind the Toyota Supra, and that is this brand new 2021 Toyota RAV4 Prime. Now, why is it called Prime? Well, take a look at this cord. I'm actually charging this RAV4 Prime right now, and that's because not only is it a hybrid, it's a plug-in hybrid, and there's a lot of excitement over this brand new RAV4 Prime, not only because it has great fuel economy, you can actually run 42 miles in EV mode alone, but the total horsepower output, 302 horsepower, and you can rock it zero to 60 in 5.7 seconds. In a RAV4, that is just unheard of. This is the fastest RAV4 ever produced, and quite frankly, one of the fastest compact SUVs you could buy today. So in this video, I wanna cover the technical specs and the little details about the engine, the all-wheel drive system, and the drive modes. The, the exciting stuff. A lot of you guys are wondering what separates this from RAV4 Hybrid and regular RAV4. That is what I'm gonna cover in this video. Now, I'm gonna produce another video and release it in a couple of days. That one will be more about the drive, how it feels, and the other things that I don't talk about in this video. So if you're interested, make sure you click that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out. All right, let's dive right in. Let's take a look at this brand new 2021 Toyota RAV4 Prime. All right, first off, let's talk about charging, the charging port and the charger that you get. This is actually important. There's actually a difference between the different trim levels, the SE and the XSE, and also a big difference between the chargers that you can get. All right, first off, on the left side of the RAV4 Prime, that's where you fill up the gas tank. So it's gonna be kind of confusing to remember which side is which, but on the right side, this is a charging port. There's no lever or anything like that. The cover, that's it, right? It does actually sound and feel a little flimsy like this. So I don't know, that's just me. But once you open it up, this is where you can plug in your included charger. So here's a better look at the charging port. So it looks like all the other charging ports out there, there is a little plastic cover you can remove. There you go, and then you plug this right in. And then once you do, it does lock and you'll hear it. This is now locked and you cannot take this out un until you unlock the doors, then you could take it out. But you could see there is a green light over here. That means it's charging and you're pretty much ready to go. So the standard charger that you get with your RAV4 Prime, this is utilizing a household outlet. So it's 110 volts and it takes about 12 hours to fully charge your batteries, which means the 42 miles on EV mode, the driving range, uh, it takes about 12 hours to fully charge, which does sound like a long time, but a lot of you guys that get home from work, you could charge right away. And usually by the time you're ready to go to work the next day, it should be done. If that's too long, you could certainly upgrade but it is 240 volts, so you have to have a special plug in your garage to utilize it. But with that, with that 240 volt charger, the charging time drops down to 4.5 hours. It's a big, big drop off from 12 hours down to 4.5 hours. And I think for most people, that's a better option, but you do have to install a special plug in your garage to take advantage. Now, there is one additional option, but it really depends on the trim level that you get. This one that I'm demonstrating on is the SE, so it's not even available. But if you do get the XSE with the premium package, there is a special faster charger that's available and the 4.5 hours gets dropped to 2.5 hours, almost half off, another two hours off. So that's pretty significant. So there's really, three options, right? The standard option, which takes about 12 hours, the upgrade option, which is 4.5 hours, and finally, the third option, the priciest one, is 2.5 hours. And when you are charging inside, the RAV4 will tell you the time to a full charge. So right now, I was about halfway, yeah, maybe a little bit more than halfway, you could see it's still gonna take four hours and 20 minutes until the batteries get fully charged up. That's kind of cool, so you know, you can anticipate when it's done. 
All right, next up, let's look at the engine and the powertrain of this RAV4 Prime. This is the good stuff. So up front, you do have a gas motor that's paired with electric motor, and in the rear, there's another electric motor. Total output of all the motors combined, 302 horsepower, which is a lot for a RAV4. And when you're fully accelerating, 0 to 60 in 5.7 seconds, which is really insane if you think about it for a RAV4 and for a compact SUV of this class, but that's what Toyota gives you. Now, you do have a few options. You can select to only utilize the gas motor. And the gas motor isn't bad. It's a 2.5 liter four cylinder that's producing 179 horsepower. Fuel economy, 40 miles per gallon in the city, 36 on the highway and 38 overall. That's not too shabby. So if you're choosing to run with a gas motor only, you're getting pretty good fuel economy also. Now, of course, you can choose to run an EV only, and you're getting up to 42 miles of range when you do so. Now, acceleration is much slower if you're in EV mode only. You do feel that instant torque, but if you're just gunning it like zero to 60, it is much slower. It, I read around nine seconds, zero to 60, when you're in EV mode only. So if you want that, that quick acceleration, you definitely want to go in hybrid mode or auto mode and just let the engine do its thing and it'll just propel you. So you do have two motors up here and there's one more motor in the back. And the reason for that is all wheel drive. All RAV4 primes come with all wheel drive. And how it works is it's an electronic version. There's actually a motor in the rear that powers the rear wheels and the motor and the gas motor up front powers the front wheels and they work in conjunction and you know, it'll do its thing and it'll divert power where it needs to. So it's a cool system. It's not a traditional system, but Toyota have been using it in their hybrid lineup for a long time and it works. All right, now I'm inside. So let me show you guys the new gauge cluster and also the driving modes. Now, as you can see, this is very different from the gauge cluster in a normal RAV4 or even a RAV4 hybrid. Uh, on this side, rather than tachometer or speedometer, you see there is a charging gauge. Right now, it's just kind of settling in the middle. It's not really doing anything between charge and eco, and that's because the car is just stand still. Now, if I was coming to a stop or rolling down the hill, there's regenerative braking and that's when you see it go into charge. Now, eco is just normal driving. If you're cruising along, not really doing anything. Um, and anytime you accelerate, you'll see it go into power. And if you're a full throttle, it goes all the way to the top. Um, but any light acceleration, I'll kind of just hover over there or I'll just, you know, kind of hover an eco for the most part. All right, and then on this side, you do have a fuel gauge still because you do have a gas tank and this is a battery gauge. So if you're wondering if you have any charge left, um, kind of weird that that's not digital, but, uh, but uh, yeah, this is how you can see if you have full charge or not. So I'm about, what, 80% uh, charged. And in the middle, this is where, you know what, I'll tell you exactly, you don't have to guess right? Distance to empty. So it'll tell you, you know, what it is for just EV. So if I was just driving an EV, I have 30 miles of range. HV is just hybrid. So combined with gas and EV, uh, it's estimating I have 517 miles. Now, when the car is fully charged with a full tank of gas, it's estimated uh, that this RAV4 Prime will get up to 600 miles um, utilizing both, you know, of course, conditions, um, vary. It really depends on if it's really hot out, very cold out, you know, if you're doing heavy acceleration, especially with this RAV4 Prime. So it really just depends on you. So as you can see, it says EV mode, right? The engine, the gas engine is off right now. So this is fully electric right now, but you can select it yourself. And that's what you do here. A lot of modes here. Here's the auto EV slash HV. So if you press that, you can see it goes auto. So kind of just do its thing. It'll switch between the two. Or if you want to dedicate an EV, you press it again in EV mode. That's where you kind of force the RAV4 Prime to stay in EV. Now, if you didn't want to 
going to EV and you wanted to only do hybrid, you can select, you could press this HV EV, right? And you can see HV mode and this is hybrid. So it does force both engines to work in conjunction. Now, if you wanted to use gas motor only, you can, you can see right here, it says hold, right? So if you hold that button, there you go, charge mode. And you could definitely hear and feel it. The gas motor turns on, it sounds like a normal motor, right? And it's called charge mode. And as you can see here, the engine is now charging a battery. And while you're driving, this is pretty cool, especially if you're in auto mode or EV mode or hybrid mode, it'll show you if it's charging a battery or it's going straight to the wheels. And when you're, um, when you're uh, feeling regenerative braking, it'll go from the wheels to the battery. It's really cool. It actually shows you exactly what's going on. All right, so that's how auto HV, HV here, uh, HV EV, that's how those work. Besides those modes, there's the standard eco and sport modes. So if you wanted to really, really maximize fuel economy, you can go into eco and you could see, now it's in green and it says eco. Now if you go into sport, it turns red, or you could press the middle and go back to normal. So there's also three different driving modes in addition to like the hybrid and EV modes. And finally, you do have a trail mode. Now, if you press that, it actually looks pretty cool. You can see there's some rocks. <laughs> this is actually if you plan on going off-roading. And uh, from what I read, trail mode will loosen up the traction control, make it a little bit, little bit better when you're going off-roading. Um, I don't know if any of you guys plan on off-roading in a RAV4 Prime, but if you wanted to go somewhere with some rocks, um, you could try the trail mode, and that is, that is also included in here. And that's it for this video. Hopefully you learn a thing or two about this brand new engine, this plug-in hybrid setup, the all-wheel drive, the charging, the driving modes. And if you want to learn more, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on my next review video where I actually showcase this RAV4 Prime and also go for a drive.